Stop number 31 on the Cash Roll GTX Cup Series brings us to Charlotte Motor Speedway, Charlotte, North Carolina. As we are here today for the running of the Mellow Yellow 500, as we have 40 laps in this event here today. Half of what we had in the, in the, in the Coca-Cola 600 earlier this season, by the way. Season down in the nitty gritty there. We're down to four races remaining after, they're counting this one here. After a great race we had at North Wilkesboro, the last race in the tour. And here we are, starting to line up running this, running this event. On the pole it is Johnny Gardner, car number 12, the winner of the season at Pocono, the second race, over, first race over there. Alongside of him, Dylan Poteet, car 22, the Met Caterpillar Pontiac is on the outside, qualifying pole speed at 185 miles an hour. Second row is the Daytona 500 champion Mike Becker, and beside him, <laughs> beside him one of the two four-time winners this season, it is Seth Cohen, car number 98. Third row has the second race winner at North Wilkesboro this season. It is Cole Deaver in the GM Governor Chevrolet car number three. Beside him would be car number zero one, Jesse Turner, who won at Watkins Glen. Fourth row has Zach Rogers, the other four time winner this season, in the Skull Band at Chevrolet car 33, and number double zero, Capture, who won at Sonoma this season. Next row, Shane Lake in the Pennzoil Pontiac car number 30, and Dylan Young in number two, the Miller Light Dodge. Next row down is Benjamin Miles in 21, and, uh, and number one, in car number one, it is Nathan Orman. Next row down is car number seven, car number 99, the Affleck Ford of Levi McIntyre, won the season at, at the second, at the night race at Bristol. He also won the, the first race of the season at, first race of the season at Dover. First race this season at Dover, I should say. Anyway, he'll be alongside Jay Jefferson in car number five, the Kellogg's Cornflake Chevy. Next row down is car 28, Cat Batson in the Texaco Haviland Ford. And beside him would be car number 89, it is Quentin Moore who won a season at Atlanta. Next row down has car number 4, William Brock in the Kodak Film Chevrolet. And Matt Haas who won the first title race of the season, the Interstate Barry's Pontiac. Next row down is Charles Sanford in 24 who won the second race of the season, who won the second Martins race of the season in car Lupont Chevrolet. He'll be alongside the 78 500 Energy Tracker Bus Toyota of Joshua Osborne. He won the, He won both Michigan races along with the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. And by the way, they both carry in-car cameras today. Next round is Carson Gum in 19 and number 88 Cat, or Keith Batson. Currently sitting number two in the points coming into this event, by the way. He is a quality care forward car number 88. His wins came at the second title race and also the winner of the race at Riverside. Next row down is Ryan Brommer in the Valvoline Ford, car number 6 will be alongside car number 26, it is the Irwin Tools Ford of Zach Winkle. Next row down is Kyle Matthews in 42, who won Martin, the first Martinsville and the first Rockingham race this season in the Coors Light Pontiac. And number 16, it is, it is Paul Minnick in the Family Channel Ford. <clears throat> Next row down has number 8, Rob Evans, and number 9, Zachary Fitzwater. Next row down after that would be car 14, Tristan Allen, and number 20, Emmanuel Hartnett. Next row down has card number 15, Ryan George, and number 11, Mitchell Collins. Next row down after that would be card 25, Phil Parker, who won Rock, who won at Darlington this season. The first race over there, he'll be alongside card number 40, Sky Commons. Next row down has card number 71, Jeremy Diaz. Diaz is on the outside of the row. Inside of him would be the man going for the Charlotte Sweep. It is Matthew Logan in the number 32, Tide Pontiac. <clears throat> Next row down has car number 7, uh, Jackson Haywood in the XI Barriers Ford, and number 48, Michael Whitman in the Lowe Chevrolet. And starting shotgun in the field will be car number 55, Daniel Bouchard in the Aaron's Toyota, and number 31, James Henry in the Senior Wireless Chevrolet. We should mention, by the way, going into this event, we still have about six cars, or six drivers, I should say, that's still in the hunt for the championship. Kyle is continues to hold the lead coming into this event with as, we, as we're down to the final four races, counting this one here. But driver, but guys like Keith Batson, Charles Sanford, and Zach Rogers, Seth Cole, and a couple, and maybe a couple others, are are right on their butts for the or are, are, are gaining on them for the championship. And I think Levi McIntyre, I think, is too, and I think as well, and I think Cole Deaver also is after his big day at Martinsville. Here comes, here goes the command to fire him up here at Charlotte.
We should mention that not only Joshua Osborne and Charles Saber have the in-car cameras, but so too does the pole sitter, Johnny Gardner. He also has the in-car in for today's event as well. We should mention Beavers, the big win, win that actually was at North Wilkesboro, actually, not Martinsville. He almost won in Martinsville a couple of times, but didn't quite pull it off over there. But he did get the win the, the last race in the tour at North Wilkesboro in the Tyson Holly Farms 400. So, there you have it with that. Should be interesting, interesting to see what the points battle looks like after this very event, though. We could see a big, big change in the points. We could see a uh, runaway after all, after, afterwards. Well... Who knows what we'll see afterwards at Charlotte. Because at this track, anything can happen and pretty much usually does. And, and of course, if you remember what all what all went down in the Coca-Cola 600 and also what happened in the Winston at Charlotte. And also race as well, too. Johnny Gardner will lean him down on the inside of the Dodge. He'll be alongside, he's alongside the Pontiac of Dylan Poteet. This is the best quality run Poteet's had in a while. As the field comes off corner number four, anticipating a green flag here, and the Melly Yellow 500 is underway here at Charlotte. Mentioned the pulse speed for this event, just over 185 miles per hour, and they will go faster than that in the draft. It's kind of it's kind of usual to see here the words draft and Charlotte in the same sentence, but let alone any other any mile and a half track note. Uh, let no less, but still. Off the fourth turn they come here as Mike Becker looks to the low side. Johnny Garner leads the first lap. Eric Becker to the low side. Goes for the lead. Two of the most iconic numbers of NASCAR. First and second now. Number 43 of Becker in the lead. And the number three of Thiever on the in, in, in second position. Here comes Zach Rogers, Shane Lake, Benjamin Miles all in this mix now. <coughs> And Deaver looks to lead his first lap of the race and get those five bonus points. And you know Zach Rogers wants those five points as well as he looks to the low side now of Deaver for the lead. Deaver gets the first lap led for the day and here comes Zach Rogers for the lead. Can he get? Can he hold him off to the start finish line this time by? Mm, have to find out here. Shane Lake trying to keep that from happening in that 30 car. He gets a run to the low side of the track now. And there comes number 21, Benjamin Miles, to the low side now, and along with my, along with Levi McIntyre and Cat Batson. Yes, I said Cat Batson, not Keith this time. And there comes Benjamin Miles for the lead. Shane Lake led that lap. We could be looking at 40 lead changes in all 40 laps. We could see that happen here. We had a 55 lead change race at this very track in the 600 earlier this season. Which is a record for the Castle Chief Dix Cup. There's also 35 leaders in the same event too. And that is a big, that is a bet, that is a record, very well broken here, for both of them at least. McIntyre led that lap here as he gets his five points. Here comes Cat Batson to the low side. She's got the lead, but here comes number four, William Brock in the Kodak Film Chevy. He's got Charles Sanford behind him in the number 24. Sanford looking to get his lap led there today. <clears throat> and also another one that wants to lead a, lead a lap here, Kyle Matthews in car number 42. And the Kodak Film Chevy will lead his first lap of the race. That is a Morgan McClure, play, uh, Morgan McClure piece that William Brock is driving here today. And here comes Carson Gunn to the low side of Charles Sanford for second place. Nothing doing. Two Monte Carlos, an Intrepid, and two Thunderbirds in the top five spots. Make that a Pontiac now uh, of the fifth position. That's Kyle Matthews. Trying to hold everybody off for his third championship. But this points race is far from over. You can you can about bet on that there. Should be interesting to see what happens at Rockingham, Phoenix, and Homestead. The last three after this. Brian Brommer to Losa. Can he can he lead this lap over Sanford? No, he does not. <clears throat> and we're already seeing laps well over 190 miles per hour here at Charlotte. Sky comes as a fast lap race. At almost 192 miles an hour, 191.857 to be exact. 
And then comes Kyle Matthews. Is this is gonna be the biggest buy points he might gain here? Because he, we all know it, it's a difference between championship or not. Rob Evans pushing him ahead, and Matthews gets his five points for leading a lap. Rob Evans to, in second position. Tristan Allen of the third spot now. Here comes Allen for second place now on Rob Evans as he's got the push from the 15 car of Ryan George, who won the second race of the season. Who won the second poking race of the season. And now Rob Evans looks to the low side, number eight, the Budweiser Chevrolet. He had he, uh, he had a he, his he had a race that he almost won. He almost won at Bristol, the night race over there, but could not quite stave off the challenge of Levi McIntyre in that race. <clears throat> and here comes number fifteen, Ryan George, to the low side. Off to number four they come. Chevy, Ford, Pontiac, Chevy, and Chevy. The top five make that actually two Fords now in the top five. Keith Batson. Trying to lead his first lap of the race. Looking for fourth place. And he's got maybe third now on the inside of Rob Evans. And now here comes number 25. Phil Parker trying to lead his first lap of the race. And he's going to take it into turn number three. Batson dives low off the track here. And he come off turn number four. Nothing doing. Phil Parker leads his first lap of the race. And here comes number 32, that is that is Matthew Logan, the man who surprised them all in the 600 earlier this season, that right here on this very same racetrack. And you can, you can bet he might have the same setup under the hood of that Pontiac. And also another surprise, Nathan Ormond up to the fourth position now at number one as they come into turn, uh, into turn one, bats into the low side. Tries to go for the lead. Orman's going to follow him. Orman, do you remember, almost won the second Talladega race this season. Who did he get passed by for the win? Yep, the guy in front of him, Keith Batson. And here comes Orman looking to lead his first lap of the race. And he's going to turn number three. He's going to keep Batson from getting those five bonus points. <clears throat> Instead, Orman's going to get it himself. And maybe Jackson Haley could beat him to the line. No, he does not. So Nathan, and I think that's the first time I think Nathan Ormond's led in a while, too, in this season, I think, too, the number one machine. And here comes number two, it looks like that's Dylan Young. Some of the back of the pack starters in the, moving up through the field here, that's including uh, number 55, Daniel Bouchard, who started this race in 39th position. It's up to the top five right now, Dylan Young. Looks lead, but here comes his buddy Benjamin Miles to the low side, and number 21. What racing we're seeing here at Charlotte Motor Speedway in, car, in the in the Mellow Yellow 500 as we're almost halfway through this event. As this time I will complete the 15th lap, we'll have 25 to go here at Charlotte. Will one of the veterans win today or will we have a surprise winner? Well, we'll find out as, the, as this race wears on. Zachary Fitzwater to the low side, car number 9, Benjamin Miles by the way takes the lead, and car number 21, the Quick Lane Motorcraft course, that's the same course Trevor Bain drove to the victory in the 2011 Daytona 500. <coughs> As the Wood Brothers PC driving, Miles leads his first time of the race, and here comes number 9, Zachary Fitzwater, who's had a kind of an iffy season so far in that number 9 machine. Paul Minnick to the left side. It's a 95 Thunderbird following a 2018 Camaro. The only Camaro in the field, by the way, <laughs> this season. Here comes 16. Paul Minnick to the left side. He's got the lead. Off to number four. And here comes number 18, Matt Haas. 48, Michael Whitman. And number 71, that is Jeremy Diaz in the Team, in team Realtree Chevrolet. <coughs> Kev Shearer <coughs> in this mix along with the 40 car of Sky Commons.
inside with Johnny Gardner in car number 12. The all tell bubble one Dodge. There's a look from Charles Sanford too. He's running 32nd at the moment. Where's Joshua Osborne, our third in car camera? Well, he's running right now in the top 20 at the moment. So he's probably this time by. He's running right behind Rob Evans in car number 8. Osborne clocked that time in 15th position. That bad running, by the way, he had at North Wilkesboro dropped him from 4th to 8th. Nothing from third to eighth in the standings. That's how bad of a day he had at Wilkesboro. He's trying to make up for all that here at Charlotte and try to move up what he can in the points. Dylan Poteet, meantime, has the lead. Here comes Cole Deaver to the low side, trying to get trying to get the lap led. No, he does not. He does not lead that lap. Speed shots a buzz here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So Deaver. Back out in front, here comes Matthew Logan in 32. Looks like trying to get his first lap of the race led. And we're already down the half, already past halfway. 20, this will be 22 in the books and 18 to go here at Charlotte. Oh, well, it's going to be close between those two at the line. Who is it going to be? It's going to be Logan, looks like. I think it was Logan. No, it was Deaver. What was the margin at the line? Oh, my God. That reminded me of the season, of the season. I think it was season 21, I think it was? Finished uh, this very race here when Joshua Osborne inched out Becca Tellier at the line by in a dead heat. It actually, it, was, it actually was a true dead heat at the line. Between those two cars, Matthew Logan finally does get that lap led. And that's actually one of two dead heats we've ever had in this series. We had one at, right here at Charlotte in season 21. We also had one at Talladega, believe it or not. <laughs> so we've had some exciting finishes in this series, though. In, the, in this series, and we may be in for one here today at Charlotte. We, well, we possibly could be in for one, so we'll see what happens. We talk about Talladega being at home for first time for some surprise winners. Well, this race has seen some surprise winners itself, too, at Charlotte. Well, Matthew Logan put the pudding there in the 600, and we also had uh, Matt McIntyre a couple seasons, seasons back when his first, when his, I think it was actually a second race at, uh, of his career at this racetrack here. He his first came at North Wilkesboro. The race just raced before that. <clears throat> in the meantime, Johnny Gardner, the pole sitter, looks for the lead, and he's going to take it off to number four, and he'll lead his first lap of the race. He's got his buddy Rob Evans right behind him in car number 8. Joshua Osborne up the 3rd. Jesse Turner in 4th. And here comes number 43, Mike Becker in this line too. And also the, a couple, and also another surprise, Ryan Brommer in the 6th. Is up in this mix too. And then you got a couple, then you got some of the veterans. Seth Cole, Dylan Young, uh, Ron, um, Quentin Moore is in this mix. Another surprise, a couple surprises, Mitchell Collins and Carson Gum. Carson Gunn, no rookie in the in the in the CRA though. However, he's uh, I think he's running the series before. I'm not sure. If, I think he has run the series before. Obviously, <clears throat> only a second season here, but never. Like I said, no rookie in this in the, in this in this sanction. Now Osborne leads his first lap of the race here, car 78, and here comes number 43, Mike Becker in the in the. Richard Petty colors as he looks to the low side here. That's actually a Bobby Hamilton car from 1997 he's driving in the, in the STP machine. Here comes Brommer, another 97 car. That's a Thunderbird that Mark Martin drove that year. He's going to the low side here. Here comes number eight. Seth Cole down the inside. Seth looking for his fifth victory of the season, believe it or not. That will, that will lead everybody in the, in the, in the Casual GTX Cup Series this season. He and Zach Rogers tied for four wins. Yeah, and both, actually, still with the, still got a shot with the cha for the championship, however, though, as both of them still do. 
and it's going to take maybe the, some of the guys in front of him to, um, in front of them to um, have some trouble in the last in this race, Rockingham and also maybe Phoenix to have a to have a real race going in the Homestead. And I, and I kind of do hope we had go in the Homestead with about five six cars in contention for the championship. That would be epic. Dylan Young to the low side, or actually high side, actually. Here comes Quentin Moore to the low side in 89. The Morgan Shepard colors. And this time by, get ready for 10 laps to go at Charlotte. Quentin Moore, car 89 out in front, but here comes Mitchell Collins at number 11. He looks low on the track as they come off turn number 2. Carson Gunn behind him, Levi McIntyre behind him, Kat Badson, Zach Rogers. Boy, what racing we're having here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Don't pencil in your winner in your don't pencil in your winner and you know, actually I wouldn't dare pencil in your winner right now because I mean this is this is far from over. This is not over by a long shot. Nine laps to go. Now eight and a half now Carson come out front here. Nope, here comes Levi McIntyre to the low side for the lead. Two Fords drafting up front now here as they come off to number four. Rogers up there, Benjamin Miles up there, Jackson Haywood, Jeremy Diaz, and the green car of of Matt Haas. <coughs> Actually, two green cars up there, three green cars, I should say, in this mix. And Zach Rogers wants to get his first lap of the lead in this race, trying to get his five bonus points, and he's likely going to get it in the third, or third, and fourth turns now. Benjamin Miles took a peek to the low side, trying to make it three wide, but thought better of it. As we come out the fourth turn, 33 in the books, seven laps to go here at Charlotte. <coughs> Into the third turn now, Zach Rogers still out in front. Here comes number 21, Benjamin Miles to the low side. <sighs> Miles ducks low. Rogers gets pushed high as they go into turn number one. Six laps to go. Five and a half now. Boy, what is going to happen in these final five laps here at Charlotte here? Jeremy Diaz to the low side. He looks for the lead. There, Matt Haas to the low side. There's Zachary Fitzwater in number nine. Shane Lake in number 30. Jesse Turner's in there. Kev Shearer, Dylan Pote, and look who's come to dinner in that silver car. Yep. He's back! And I am, of course, talking about Kyle Matthews, car 42. He finished second at North Wilkesboro, improved his shot at the, cha at the championship. Off turn number four, they come. 37 in the books, three laps to go. Zachary Fitzwater to the low side. Looks for the lead. He's got it. Shane Lake is up there. Number zero one, Jesse Turner. And here comes Shane Lake for the lead. The Pennzoil Pontiac. Yeah, Pontiac's actually in four of the five spots on the inside lane. But here comes Jesse Turner to the low side now with two laps to go. Kev Shearer to the low side. Dylan Poteet. Could he make could he make a run in for the win here? <clears throat> I think either him or Matthews could be in the in, it could be in the, could be in this could be the spot they need to win this race here. Here comes Poteet to the low side. White flag waves. One lap to go here at Charlotte. Poteet looks slow. 
Matthews pushes him. Matthews sticks his nose to the inside lane. Sanford trying to shove him. On turn number two they come. Matthews to the low side. This could be damaging for the everybody else trying to chase him in the points if he wins this race. He pushes Poteet up the track as they come up the fourth turn. They're side by side to the start finish line. Poteet to the high side. Matthews to the low side. Sanford's peaks to the low side. Kyle Matthews wins the Maliella 500 at Charlotte. <coughs> Dare I say that was a statement for Kyle Matthews and his hope for the championship as he takes the win here today at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Dylan Poti comes home second by just two one hundredths of a second at the start finish line. That is, that is just absolutely, that is just absolutely bat crap insanity right there. Sanford comes home third, or Shear fourth. How about Daniel Bouchard in the 55 ends up finishing fifth in the race? Um, Jesse Turner was sixth, seventh will go to Emmanuel Hardin, Shane Lake eighth, Phil Parker ninth, and tenth will go to Zachary Fitzwater. What a finish that was. Average speed 17,000, average speed 188,972. Margin of victory 17 thousandths of a second at the start finish line. That is absolutely nuts here today. And that should reflect a lot in the standings here. Sanford's the only one that's really even, will even gain anything on, on everybody else in the points because he was the only one that even finished even close to Kyle Matthews. <clears throat> so that should help Charles a bunch in the points though, but. Again, the points leader won, and that's, like I said, devastating for everybody else trying to chase him in the points right here. Keith Batson, not a bad try, but it still ends up finishing 11th in the race here today. Matt Haas comes on 12th, 13th, Ryan George, 14th, Jeremy Diaz, 15th, Michael Whitman, 16th, Ryan, William Brock, 17th, Benjamin Miles, 18th, we'll go to Nathan Orman, Zach Rogers, 19th, 20th, we'll go to, Jason, to Jackson Haywood, excuse me on that one. Then Jackson, then Zach Winkle, Keith, Kat Batson was 22nd, 23rd, Joshua Osborne, not the day he won it again. And not a day for uh, Levi McIntyre, won a neater 24th in today's event. Johnny Gardner, 25th, Carson Gunn, Mitchell Collins, Paul Minnick, Rob Evans, Quentin Moore, the top 30. Cole Deaver, 31st, not a good day for him, neither. Uh, Tristan Allen, Dylan Young, Sky Commons. Jay Jefferson, Seth Cole, is going to kill him in the points. 36th in this event here today. Matthew Logan, Ryan Brommer, James Henry, and Mike Becker, dead last in this event. And like, and like, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, and as I said here, as we keep saying here in this late part of the season, things can change every race, and boy, there is going to be a points change. I will guarantee you that after this race. And here, so Kyle Mendes gets the win here to Melly Yellow 500. Oh, yeah. His best track is next, and that's Rockingham. That's the bad news. That's more bad news for everybody else here. Everybody else, huh, brother. So that will do it here today. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Internet Series Sports and Gaming channel. We get everything on the channel. We get Internet Series Gaming videos. We have a present of the Internet Series Seth Gold Stars first channel. Be sure to check out our other Internet Series series, including the, uh, the, um, Pedigree Xfinity series, the, uh, in the, Duracell Cup Series, those are all pro series, and on Thrash Me 899's channel, the NSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. Be sure to check those series out as well, and I'll guarantee you they're a whole lot better, a whole lot better than what I have to offer. No, just kidding. Anyway, <coughs> some of the best stuff is under the NSCRA umbrella, and you will not regret checking those races out either. And of course, they also check out some NSCRA online races on the NSCRA channel as well. So that will do it today at Show Runner Speedway. From now, this is James Qualls with the production of the NSCRA. Off on racing at its best. We will see you at Rockingham.